in the Ethical Hacking Hacking Web Applications course, I talked about server fingerprinting with Nmap. And that's a really powerful way of figuring out what underlying infrastructure a web application actually runs on. So that's a great place to start. Go and check that one out first. What I wanted to cover here is more of a cautionary tale. Let me show you what I mean. Here's our website, our sample vulnerable website. And let's say we're interested in which server it runs on. I want to know the underlying web server. Now I can hit F12 for the developer tools and then just go and reload the page. Now I've got the network tab selected. I'm going to choose the first result in that set of network requests. I'm going to then scroll down to look at the response headers. And here we can see the server it runs on. Microsoft IIS 8.0 crystal clear and in fact we're being told outright via the response header. Now the value to the attacker of course is that in knowing the underlying web server they can target their attack to any known vulnerabilities or potential risks within that particular server. Probably not much point looking at the Apache risks when you know the site is running on IIS. But here's the other thing I wanted to show you. Let me now jump over to another fingerprinting site. This is HTTP Recon, and you'll often see it referred to as a good source of ethical hacking fingerprinting. Let's go and enter the host name of our site, and we'll see what it finds. Now the way fingerprinting works is a tool like this will go and make requests to the site, see how it responds, and then try to work out what is the underlying web server infrastructure. Now those might be malformed requests, so for example an invalid HTTP version, or they might be requests to specific resources that will cause different server variants to respond in different ways. And a fingerprinting tool will recognize those response patterns and then determine what the underlying web server actually is. So let's see what HTTP Recon finds. OK, let's see how it went. We can see that there are nine test cases run. And if we scroll down to look at the list of web servers and potential matches that HTTP Recon believes the site could be, we see that it is 100% confident that the site is Microsoft IIS 6. Now clearly, it's not IIS 6. It is IIS 8 as we saw per the response header earlier on. And more specifically, it's IIS 8 running on Microsoft's Azure, which is a very specific variant of IIS. But what we see here when we look at this list of matches is nowhere do we actually see IIS 8. In fact, even if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of the top 20 web servers that it thinks it might be, IIS 8 doesn't feature. Neither does IIS 7.5 nor IIS 8.5 which at the time of recording is the current version. So the point is that you do need to be cautious about HTTP fingerprinting tools, because number one, they can give you a totally incorrect result, and number two is that they have to stay abreast of new web servers. And if they don't have the definitions in place for IIS 8, for example, as well as the other minor variants either side of that, then clearly they're not going to be able to accurately fingerprint something running on that server. So you wouldn't want to take this result and now go away and attempt to start mounting attacks designed for IIS 6 against the Hack Yourself First site, because they simply won't work. Certainly not unless that vulnerability from that very, very old web server still exists in the current modern day Azure implementation. So that is a bit of an addendum to HTTP fingerprinting over and above what I did in the Hacking Web Applications course. Let's move on now and look at something quite different, and that's social engineering. 